Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we are counting down our picks for the top 20 greatest Legend of Zelda songs. <laughs> for this list, we'll be looking at the best music tracks featured in the beloved Nintendo franchise. Music is incredibly important to Zelda. Ask any fan and they'll give you a different list. So be sure to let us know what your favorite songs from the series are in the comments below. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Number 20, Tal Tal Mountain Range, The Legend of Zelda, Link's Awakening. It's incredible to think that this theme came from a Game Boy. The Tal Tal Mountain Range only becomes accessible towards the end of the game, housing the last two dungeons and the Windfish's Egg. As the game ramps up for its finale, so too does the area's music. It features the beginning notes of the franchise's main theme before blasting off into something entirely new. Upbeat and heroic, it carries you towards some of the toughest challenges in Link's Awakening. And even though they are challenging, exiting a dungeon to hear this helps you never lose hope. It almost sounds like a blend of Zelda and Mega Man, which is undeniably cool. Number 19, Realm Overworld, The Legend of Zelda, Spirit Tracks. Even some of the less popular entries in the series still have fantastic music. Spirit Tracks has Link play a pan flute for several mechanics. As such, the instrument is heavily featured in its overworld track, pun intended. It's accompanied by string instruments like a guitar and violins, as well as an infectiously catchy beat that syncs up perfectly with your train's chugga chuggas. It will make you want to spend all of your time in the overworld, riding across train tracks and tooting along with your whistle. Fate of the world be damned. Much like other overworld themes, it's joyful, adventurous, and perfectly captures the essence of Zelda. Number 18, Fairy Fountain, Various. <laughs> we love the songs that make us want to set out on a quest, but the series also has music that makes us feel calm and serene. The Fairy Fountain theme is such a song, and it's appeared in most entries in the series. The main notes descend as they're plucked softly on a harp, sometimes piano, making the player feel immediately at ease. <laughs> This feeling pairs with where you hear it. As soon as we hear those opening strums, we know we've discovered a worthwhile secret. Whether it be a regular fairy fountain or one that houses a great fairy, the theme embodies tranquility. It also plays on the file select screen. Sometimes, it's nice to take a moment before jumping back in. Number 17, Fi's Farewell, The Legend of Zelda, Skyward Sword. Fi may not be the most popular companion in the series, but she does have a tremendous theme. Played on a woodwind instrument, it fits with the mysterious figure who draws Link to his destiny. However, it's during Fi's final moments when the theme becomes something much more. Beginning with soft piano notes, Fi's Farewell transforms her theme into something much more somber, yet somehow filled with hope. As Fi plans to sleep forever, the spirit takes a moment to thank Link. Through their journey, she has unexpectedly come to feel happiness for the first and only time. As the strings swell, our eyes well up. It's one of the sadder moments in the franchise, and the score fits it beautifully. <laughs> Number 16, main theme, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Breath
Breath of the Wild's clifftop moment is one of the best video game openings in recent memory. It's so great that it's mentioned every time any other game does something similar. Looking out over a Hyrule much more vast than any previous incarnation, it instantly made us want to explore. The opening piano notes as Link exits the cave will always give us chills, but the full theme is much longer. It brings together a plethora of instruments, from swooping strings to blaring horns. Few main themes capture the scope of a game the way this theme does. It would feel at home in any of Studio Ghibli's masterpieces, which is the highest compliment we can pay it. Number 15. Mulgara, The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker. Mulgara is not the best boss fight in The Wind Waker, but its theme is the best boss music in the entire series. Quick percussion that includes clanging bells sets you up for a fight. A flute joins soon after, piping out high-pitched notes for a ridiculously catchy hook that'll be stuck in your head long after. As Link fights the massive beast, strings and horns join to bring a bit more peril. They never overshadow the central instrument, though. Mulgara's theme strikes a perfect balance between fun and intimidating, making the encounter much more memorable than it would have been otherwise. And it will make you want to hold off your attack just so you can keep listening. Number 14, Song of Healing, The Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask. Majora's Mask takes a more personal look at the effects of its villain on regular citizens. Matching that sorrow and misery is one of its most important songs, the Song of Healing. Despite its short length and simple composition, the Song of Healing is gorgeously moving. Players hear it whenever they visit the unsettling Happy Mask salesman, who teaches it to them on his piano. Not only is it nice to listen to, but it is a vital piece of the story. Link must play it to several lost and haunted NPCs, bringing them peace where once was only pain. While listening to it, you can feel negativity wash away and a peaceful quietness take its place. Number 13. Midna's Lament, The Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess. Midna from Twilight Princess is one of the most distinct companions Link has ever adventured with. So for a scene that threatened her demise, the soundtrack needed an appropriately emotional tune. Thankfully, composer Toru Minagishi and his team exceeded all expectations. While we never truly expected Midna to die by Zant's hand, it's a testament to the power of this scene that we forgot that belief. Quick piano notes heighten the urgency as Link races through the storm and Midna desperately clings to life. The strings that fade in to join the piano tug at our hearts, emphasizing the bond that has built up between the two. It's a moody, atmospheric track that creates a standout moment in this entry. Number 12, Song of Storms, Various. Multiple songs from Ocarina of Time are short, sweet, and to the point, but few of them burrow into your brain the way Song of Storms does. Just like the windmill it's found in, the track goes round and round, but it never outwears its welcome. It's catchy, lively, and being played primarily through a phonograph sounds unlike anything else in the game. Yeah. 
it's also highly useful, cleansing in more ways than one. It can cause fairies to appear at certain spots in Hyrule, cure you of the Blue Bubbles curse, and bring peace to Sharp, a murderous spirit in Majora's Mask. Number 11, Stone Tower Temple, The Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask. Each area of Termina is stranger than the last, which makes the Kana Canyon the world's weirdest. It's a land home to malevolent spirits, undead soldiers, and a cursed family. To save them all, Link climbs to the Twisted Stone Tower Temple. Its theme matches perfectly with Akana Canyon's history. The timing of its beat and its moaning vocals capture the feeling of an endless army, marching forward even in death. And yet, it's just as catchy as most other songs across the franchise. The bass line bounces along as the ocarina's notes puncture the forlorn tone. It's somehow both unnervingly dark and playfully jaunty, making it one of the series' most unique dungeon themes. <laughs> Number 10, Gerudo Valley, The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. Koji Kondo is an absolute musical genius, and he's the reason Ocarina of Time's music stands out all these years later. One of his crowning achievements, at least within Ocarina, is the Gerudo Valley theme. The track invokes and was clearly inspired by Spanish music. The flamenco guitar and accompanying horns make it sound like something you'd hear alongside the masked Zorro. Other than being one of the standout songs on the soundtrack, it also helps its area stand out. Outside of the Pirate Fortress, Gerudo Valley is somewhat drab in its design and color scheme, but every time this track greets us, none of that matters. <laughs> Number 9, Title Theme, The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. For the first 3D Zelda, one might have expected to hear the victorious main theme over its title screen, but Ocarina of Time took a more subdued approach. One of its key threads is the loss of childhood and innocence. Link gives up his childhood, skipping seven years to become the hero Hyrule needs, and the opening track flawlessly encapsulates that. Weeping Piano is joined by the titular Ocarina, which adds much more meaning to the recorder's tune from the NES game. By now, the title theme of Ocarina embodies nostalgia and a longing for the past on two fronts, for Link himself and for those that grew up playing this game. <laughs> Number 8. Title. The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker. Ocarina of Time isn't the only entry with an incredible title screen theme. Instead of a tune that focuses on Link losing his sister, it instead focuses on the call of adventure and the joy of the unknown. It instantly hits you with a Celtic vibe thanks to its instrument choices, but it also has a clever connection to the story. Both melodies the track consists of are songs of the sages. Realizing the connection made the music nerd and all of us sing with delight. Each game puts us in the shoes of the hero, but Wind Waker was the first to make us feel like an explorer in uncharted territory. So it's great that the first music we hear captures that feeling. Number 7, Clock Town, The Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask.
Despite a terrifying moon threatening death from above, the citizens of Clocktown never stopped their hustle and bustle. For a town teeming with life, Nintendo required a tune that was just as lively as the setting. Clocktown's theme is happy, springy, and fits well with the busy NPCs, most of which have their own schedules to keep. That's just the first day. The song changes its pace and instruments for each of the three days within the loop. By the third day, with the moon having grown unnervingly close, the vibe is a bit less happy and a lot more frantic. It's a really clever way to have the hub world music reflect your point in the story. Number 6. Zelda's Lullaby, Various Although we spend the majority of each game with Link, the titular princess is always a strong-willed leader who's passionate about the safety of her people. She's usually shown to be immensely caring, warm, and ethereal. First appearing in A Link to the Past, Zelda's Lullaby is an exemplary display of Zelda's qualities. Slow, simple, and peaceful, it's one of the prettiest tracks Koji Kondo has given us. As the series, character, and music has evolved, Zelda's Lullaby has appeared in nearly every entry, but it's normally reserved for key scenes to show the princess's grace and love. Every time we hear it, it tugs at our nostalgia for the franchise and pulls us in for a tender embrace. Number 5. Low Rule Castle, The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds. <laughs> The final dungeon in this 3DS entry has one of the most incredible themes in the series. Beginning with quick strings and a playful woodwind, the castle's theme walks a fine line between whimsical and suspenseful. It simultaneously makes you want to bob your head while giving you the feeling that danger could strike at any moment. It has a couple of extra layers that make it even better. The deeper into the dungeon you go, the more instruments are added until it's a full-blown orchestra, giving the sense that it's carrying you towards a grand finale. Part of it is also the main Hyrule Castle theme in reverse, which is a nice touch. Number 4. The Dark World. Various. A Link to the Past changed Zelda in a lot of great ways, such as being the first to have Link travel between two worlds. Despite the Dark World being corrupted by Ganon, its music is some of the catchiest in the game. Short horn blasts alongside a quick tempo and victorious strings get you ready for the new and dangerous area. It was a delight to hear it recreated in A Link Between Worlds for the Kingdom of Low Rule. A slightly quicker tempo, guitar in place of the horns, and an absolutely shredding violin breathed new life into the classic track. It's one of the best overworld songs the franchise has ever seen. Number 3. Dragon Roost Island, The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker. We had all gotten used to Gorons, Zora, and Dekus by the time the Rito were introduced. Nintendo gave the new race an awesome theme it knew would get stuck in our heads, making it so we wouldn't soon forget them. It brings similar vibes as the Gerudo Valley theme, but it incorporates a pan flute to deliver its central tune, which will have you whistling it long after.
It's an evolution of Nintendo's ability to bring in different influences and bend them to match its world. It was a shame it was only heard in one location. That is, until Breath of the Wild. It was slowed down dramatically and played primarily on a harpsichord, giving it a more romantic feel for the Rito Village. Number 2. Saria's Song, Various Plenty of Zelda songs are jolly, snappy tracks with simple hooks that can easily get lodged in your brain for days on end. Saria's Song is the best of that bunch. Ever since we ventured into the Lost Woods for the first time, we've been perpetually humming this song. Ocarina of Time even shows that it's impossible to hear it and not want to dance. Maybe getting lost in these woods wouldn't be so bad. It was reworked for Twilight Princess's Sacred Grove. With a slower pace, no percussion, and quick harp flux underneath, the song gained an otherworldly feel to match its mysterious setting. Regardless of which version you prefer, there's no denying that Saria's song is one of the franchise's most recognizable tracks. Number 1. The Legend of Zelda theme, Various. The main theme for the series is not only iconic within The Legend of Zelda, but the entire medium of gaming. Beginning with the first entry on the NES, the song has become recognizable to even those who have never played any installments. It is the perfect adventure theme, instilling a sense of triumph, exploration, and heroism in us whenever we hear it. It's been reworked to fit various overworlds and story beats, with The Wind Waker's The Legendary Hero being a particularly fantastic standout. It's honestly astounding that Koji Kondo was able to compose this in just a single day, but from his genius arose a connection between music and game unmatched by any other gaming franchise. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, there's more where that came from.